Yo, what's going on YouTube? This your boy Showtime the Czar, the flyest vlogger on the planet. Welcome back to the channel. Got some hot hip hop news and cultural updates for you guys, as always. But before we jump into all that, you know, we got to handle that business. See that subscribe button right there on your screen. I need you to click that. Turn that bell icon on so that you're notified each and every time I drop a video. Now, let's begin today's video. So, the BET Hip Hop Awards last night. I know you guys watched it. Uh, the hosts were the 85 South Show. Shout out to them guys. Uh, they did a phenomenal job of hosting. Now, some of my favorite moments from last night were uh, Little Baby and 42 Doug's performance. I thought that was dope. Uh, the City Girls performed. That was fire. I'm starting to have a little crush on JT with her little big lip chocolate self. But shout out to the City Girls. They did their thing. And the Cyphers. They were fire as always. Now, two of the ciphers that really stood out to me was the cipher that included uh, Rhapsody, Chica, Polo G, and Jack Carlo. It was like the first one, and it was like very political, so that was dope to me. And then they they were actually spitting, and it was a lot of the ciphers throughout the night had political um, aspects throughout them, telling people to go vote, uh, just pointing out some key points about just what's been going on the last few months as far as the election as you know the election uh, the last day to vote i will say is next week uh, november 3rd so make sure you get out and vote and um the other cypher that i thought was fire was the r&b cypher that featured tiana taylor brandy her and erica badu thought that was dope i actually thought brandy was gonna kind of mess it up not because i think brandy's trash but i just didn't expect brandy to be able to rap the way she did so shout out to all them ladies for that hers verse was actually fire she did an amazing job so shout out to her as well uh all the ladies in that in that cypher did well though uh erica badu did her thing and so did tiana taylor so uh shout out to all of them now, something else I thought was dope was the performance from Big Sean, Janae Aiko, and Ty Dolla Sign. They had a very seductive performance, very mood-like performance. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised in a, if in about four to five months, Janae Aiko announced that she's pregnant. Because that was a very intimate-looking setting up there, man. I'm not going to lie, but it was dope, though. So, shout-out to them. And they performed my favorite song from the album, which is Body Language. I don't know why I like that song so much. Just that soulful morning sample is just fire to me. So, again, shout-out to them. Now, something else I want to mention before I go into the next subject was some of the awards that were given out, guys. So, Lyricist of the Year went to Rhapsody, which I thought was dope because she's an amazing artist. DJ of the Year went to DJ D Nice, and he did start the whole quarantine DJ thing. So, shout-out to him. Um, Hustler of the Year went to Meg Thee Stallion. Also, Artist of the Year went to Meg Thee Stallion. Live Performer went to my guy, Travis Scott. The I Am Hip Hop Award icon went to Master P. Shout out to him. His speech was amazing. It was incredible, very inspirational. And they told a lot of stories about Master P. So shout out to him. Uh, the Impact Track of the Year went to Lil Baby. And the new hip hop artist went to Pop Smoke. Rest in peace to Pop Smoke. Let me know what you guys' favorite moments was in the comments, guys. Let me know what you think about the hip hop awards. Now, continuing on with the hip hop awards just for a second here. I've seen a lot of people complaining that the baby got snubbed. They said he was in a few categories and that he should have won. I seen somebody say on Twitter that the baby should have won a best artist of the year, which I don't necessarily agree with. I think Meg Thee Stallion definitely should have won. She has a lot of chart topping hits right now. Uh, she's constantly on the radio, so I definitely think they gave it to the right person. The baby had a decent year. I actually think last year was better. With he had two or three or four tracks that were banging on the stations and people were playing a lot of his music. This year was kind of just a, a even kill year. I think Rockstar was his best record thus far, and he had a couple features, but they weren't as dominant as Meg Thee Stallion was. But let me know what you guys think about that. Did the baby get snubbed or did they give it to the right person? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. All right, guys. Last thing I want to discuss before I get up out of here. So remember, I reported on my last vlog that. Funk Flex was doing a little bit of trolling. Seems like it's a little bit deeper than trolling. So he just recently posted that he has the utmost respect for T.I. But is calling T.I. an informant and that he was on Crime Stoppers Atlanta. He posted a video of T.I. being on Crime Stoppers Atlanta. And he posted something afterwards talking about rappers being informants. Now, again, this is where I feel like Funk Flex is doing things for attention. I don't understand what any of this has to do 
with the versus battle between him and Jeezy. If you feel like Jeezy is gonna win Flex, just say that. All this other stuff about him being in the foreman and all, like, bro, nobody cares. Nobody cares about that, first off. Second of all, where did that come from? When you're a DJ, what, how, how of a sudden are you involved in the street life? So now you concerned about what people snitching and all that. Like, get out of here, bro. You just doing stuff for attention. This is corny in my opinion. Knock it off, bro. This has nothing to do with the versus battle. If you are a fan of Jeezy, just say that and move on to the next thing. Now, I'm assuming that T.I. must have responded to him for him to put this information out here because he turned off the comments. So if you turn off the comments, then you're assuming, I'm assuming that you don't want people attacking you. But let me know what you guys think. Is Funk Flex doing things for attention? Or is he just simply stating his opinion about T.I.? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. But that's all I got for you guys today. If you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment, share, subscribe. And until next time, I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.